Hare Krishna. Saying no to temptation doesn't mean much if we don't mean no. All of us at times resolve when we give in to temptation and realize that we have been deceived, that the temptation doesn't give anywhere near as much pleasure as we thought it would give us. And later, we also sometimes suffer some consequences of our actions. And then we resolve, never again, I am not going to succumb to this. So at such times, when uh, we decide, no, I am not going to do this, we might make a resolution. Or if somebody is hurt by our actions, we may promise them, no, I will not do it. Now, our words are important. But their importance is determined whether our, our words are reinforced or sabotaged by our intentions. So whenever say for example we wake up early in the morning or the alarm wakes us up and the alarm is reminding us wake up but something inside us says go to sleep and that is our mind. So what is coming out from our mouth is it coming out only from the mouth or is it coming out from the innermost core of our being where the mind is also included if not willingly then at least resolutely forcefully if necessary so if our intelligence and intention are not included in our expressions then uh, those expressions don't mean much because whenever we resolve to give up something, we still, we still retain the idea that this is enjoyable. And unless we challenge and counter that idea that this is not enjoyable or even if it is enjoyable, the price is too much to pay for it. Unless we are convinced of that, we can't persevere. So in 2.59 in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Vishaya vinivartante nirahara dehinaha rasavarjam rasopyasya param drishtvani vartate so vishaya vartante that when we rise above our senses that when we decide to stay away from certain tempting objects niraharasya dehinaha we understand that we feel as if we are not getting any food we feel like I am starving rasavarjam rasopyasya so even if we decide to give up that taste, the taste still remains. And what is the solution? Param drishtva nivartate. It is only when we param drishtva, when we seek a higher taste, then we get that higher taste. That when, then we become steadily situated. That higher vision, param drishtva. We see things from a higher perspective where there is enrichment and not hankering. So that vision is what we need to develop and often that requires, so when is our intention boosted? When will our words mean something? So our resolutions or our expressions don't mean much unless we, uh, we mean them. That means we have contemplated and we have resolved that whatever pleasure the temptation offers, it's not worth it. Our life has a higher purpose. And when we focus on that higher purpose and when we resolve to pursue that higher purpose, then and then alone will we be able to translate our articulated no into an enacted no. Thank you. Hare Krishna.